So Gronk suspended one game. He appealed, lost his appeal. So he'll sit out Monday night against the Miami Dolphins, but he'll be back in time for a much more important game against the Steelers the following week. Does the punishment here, the one game suspension, fit the crime? Bucky, we'll start with you. Uh, you know, yes. I mean, I think that if you, he had to go for at least one game, and here's where I have a problem with it should have been more. The NFL is so inconsistent when it comes to this stuff that I don't know what to weigh it against. When Tom Brady gets four games for inflated footballs uh, in a game that, you know, he doesn't even use them to, to get the advantage, and then you have a guy like Ray Rice getting two games for knocking out his fiance at the time in an elevator, I, I, I'm okay with Gronk getting the game. It was stupid. He knows it was stupid. Uh, I'm sure his, he's heard from his family and his friends and his teammates and Bill Belichick and everybody else in the media that it was stupid. He knows that. I, I look at that as like a moment of temporary insanity from a very good player who is not known as a dirty player making a dirty play. I don't care what he's known for. It was as brutal a hit as I've ever seen in football. Because most of the hits we talk about are on the field where guys aren't able to control their momentum and, and go helmet to helmet. This is a prone player on the ground like that. Yeah. that in the back, I mean, it was, as, as Rod Harrison said, on the street you'd be arrested. He could have paralyzed him, and I think it should be two games. I don't care what you balance it against. 